Good morning, good morning, my brother. Good morning, my sister. Good morning, family. We greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, and our Lord, and we thank him for allowing us to be together on this third day of January 2022 and it is uh, a day the Lord has made he's making other ones <laughs> but this one uh, we began um, a, um, a morning process uh, dawning in the morning um, rising up early in the morning and and setting with God in the um, uh, formative moments of our day and praying he lead God and direct us in the way that we should go exampling him as the author and finisher of our faith daily faith uh, faith that begins uh, when he awakens us from sleep and slumber and allow us to get to a point within the uh, ordering of that day that um, uh, agreement is ours from heaven including us equally there are weather changes that we must uh, go through there are spiritual weather changes there are natural weather changes and today while cool a bit uh, my temperature says it's about 45 degrees Fahrenheit here at 559 um, raining at the same time with a forecast of snow uh, of some kind coming forth as well and those are areas that aid and assist us in our uh, walk with God and our devotions in the morning and we celebrate the power of living a devoted life with him and before him uh, I always start uh, this time out with our um, uh, prayer that our Lord taught us to pray when he said, um, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom thine is the power thine is the glory forever and ever Amen, amen. Uh, our phone number that you can um, dial throughout uh, this time of gathering, I'm going to put it in the comment section. It is um, uh, 757-424. Uh, okay, I hit the wrong number. 424. No, 424, okay, all right, 5776, yeah, that's the number, and let me, um, let me place it there, okay, okay, if I, I, I placed it there, place it right under, uh, um, uh, those who are gathering and uh, we are grateful to the Lord to be able to to share that phone number where you can call 
if you have if you have some things on you in the morning if you um, brought some things brought some things into the morning from last night from yesterday as we started our journey throughout uh, 2022 in amplifying relationships and uh, solidifying them uh, under the power of our God and His Spirit. 757-424-5776. Equally, uh, if you have prayer requests, you will be able to receive them over that phone number. Just call in. We're going to be here for about uh, 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, because at seven, um, I have to uh, be granddaddy. <laughs> I have to be granddaddy. Uh, our second grandchild will be coming here uh, today, uh, right at seven a.m. So you got to be ready for for the little ones, for the little ones, for the little ones. So um, we have a break at that moment. But check this. We're also going to be celebrating the Lord's Supper in the morning. Um, I can think of no better table um, as an extension of this table. The table where the devotion is shared and where we eat literally from the Word of God. Uh, but, but there is... Uh, something I know we need to eat. We need to eat as he sat with his disciples before he went to the cross and before we go into our day as a tribute to what he did for us on the cross of Calvary. Prior to going there, he gave them evidences of himself. He gave bread and he gave his blood and he identified them um, as uh, sojourners with them as um, uh, health builders as well this bread I believe is a form of covering over, over our respiratory systems especially now important because where Corona and its virus and all of its variants attack us in our respiratory system. You need an antidote for that. And the antidote the Lord has provided. And then our whole circulatory system is affected by that attack of our respiratory system. Everywhere your blood flows throughout your body, we have a highway inside of us that aids and assists us in negating the onset of uh, physical attack. Everywhere we have veins, everywhere we have arteries, and there is a highway system internally that uh, is covered by our veins and covered by our arteries so um, at a lot of point close to that 630 hour we're going to be celebrating the Lord's Supper adding in addition to the word that we always start out with that which is his body and ours that which is from his circulatory process into ours. So look forward to that uh, each morning uh, as well. But over in the Gospel of Mark, uh, chapter 3, I want to come right into your house, right into uh, uh, the pathway of family. Uh, your brother your sister, your mom, your dad. And there in Mark chapter 3, 
um, beginning with uh, verse 31 uh, we get we get we get we get Jesus's take on who is his mother uh, his brother his sister his family uh, so we 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 look forward to the family import of this text mark chapter 3 beginning with verse 31 uh, here's what it says i'm reading from the um uh, new king james version then his brothers and his mother came and standing outside they sent to him calling him and a multitude was sitting around him just like we are sitting around him now and they said to him look your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you but he answered them saying who is my mother or my brothers and they looked around in a circle at those who sat about him and said here are my mother and my brothers for whoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and mother now I know just like you read this text and you're listening for the dad <laughs> the dad being addressed there is no no uh, Joseph in this text uh, uh, and it is uh, identifiably um, a missing portion th that I believe this devotion addresses. Uh, by him we have been adopted into his everlasting family. Today he says, stay with me. And he's identifying everyone who's with you now uh, still living blood still running in their veins uh, even though textually dad is not mentioned so let's presuppose uh, that um, the empty spot in this reference can only be highlighted by God himself the father of Jesus that has sent him to assemble the family in the setting where he is at this time and where you are it may be a dad I'm a dad I am a granddad I'm at the table I'm in the assembly and I don't know who is present or who's missing in the setting you're in right now. And my dad is going on home to be with the great father in heaven. So there is an absence at my table, but I have his blood in me. I have his likeness. I have his image. I carry some of his ways in me and, and in a real sense if not uh, there now with me here now with me because I'm an extension of him uh, through the uh, contribution he made to get me here <laughs> and my birth date uh, registering way back in uh, April on that eighth day of uh, 1953 <laughs> so what may be who may be absent um, from your circle 
of influence during this devotion. I, 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 I urge you today to remember you are not here in form of origin by yourself. Somebody made a contribution uh, from your domestic as well as your circulatory family. Uh, your, 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 your genealogy is incomplete if, if you don't know who your father is or was and I trust that you do have knowledge you may not have memory but, but I trust that you have knowledge that assists you in in noting you you just didn't pop up uh, you're here by definition and by uh, a fulfillment from your own genealogical um, um, uh, foundation. Today we, 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 we say Father God stay with me. Uh, we regard our mother. I regard Elsie. Uh, I, I regard Sam Senior my older brother. I, I regard Gwen my older sister. I regard Michael my younger brother. It was four of us. And I, I, I regard um, uh, Elsie, my mother, Sam Sr., my dad, and bless the Lord for each one of them. And, and my, on my mama's side, on my daddy's side, the extension of the genealogical link that um, for me, my knowledge goes back uh, to the 1800s for uh, both of my granddads, Charlie and Van. And uh, that extension, uh, I am it, and uh, celebrated uh, formatively. So as our, as our creator, our, um, uh, the genius of, gene of genealogies, we are not here on our own. We are an extension of those previous in, in the biological family that is ours. And of course, we have brothers and sisters of the faith today that um, we, we've gained much from and uh, uh, rely upon in terms of uh, um, getting along getting through uh, on the on, on the wings of 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 partnerships of togetherness we identify with those in that extended way but the the one who touched us early this morning and caused our golden moments to hitch up to the chariot of time and roll on just a little while longer includes those who whose mannerisms we carry in our DNA within our spiritual as well as biological DNA identify with Jesus and uh, the Father God of Jesus the and as we just celebrated, the Mary part of the M-A-R-Y of Jesus, the Joseph part that we've celebrated in an immediate way, uh, referencing uh, the birth of the Christ child. The, the Christmas story is in a real sense our story. Folks still have their lights up and burning. Uh, carrying them into the first um, uh, eons of um, this new year. So spending time with God um, is one of the best directions we could uh, move into. Um, he shows us him, himself. He, he, he releases a word to us such as out of Mark's gospel this morning. Uh, the thinking, the meditation, 
uh, the, 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 the alignment that this word offers uh, aids and assists us in, in living our lives with purpose, with meaning, addressed by uh, the holy part of our lives and of, of our living. Uh, I dare say that everybody that's your friend now may not carry a dimension of holiness such as you seek to practice yourselves and um, uh, there's a holy and an unholy side of us that um, we must keep under the temperament of the temple maker, the temple keeper, our bodies being the temple of God, um, that there is much he has already devised as well as developed that uh, aids and assists us in getting to that point where we, we are comfortable with being us and comfortable with him being at work in us. Today, he says, stay with me. I mean, he, he, he originated this day. He keeps us in this day. He, he says, stay with me, stay with me. Spend time with me so that I can show you my word, my will that's just for you. Then, then let me love your brothers and your sisters. And if your, your mom or your dad is still alive, let me love you through them. And uh, it seems like you are the one being addressed. But he is the one doing the addressing. And I think that is quite key in us devotionally starting our day with him, let me forgive them through you. You are uh, uh, an important participant. L let me appreciate, let me honor, let me esteem them through you. It seems like God is extending himself through the vessel that, have, that, that, that has uh, availed themselves um, as a conduit for other family members. Your light will shine and you will know you are part of my family as you minister to members of your family. I will be the brother you possibly never had and unlike that brother that you do have, I'll be, I'll be I'll be dad in you. I'll be mama in you. I'll be sister in you. I will, I will take up the slack or the empty place. And I will identify them as I have made them and their personality to be governed in you. Selectively amplifying what they meant to you the lack of their presence or uh, the interest you may have because part of your mannerisms uh, can be seen as a result of their impact of you possibly in the formative years of your life and where you are right now. For whoever, that's what Jesus uh, purposes in this text for 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 whoever does the will of God he or she is my brother my sister my mother my family member that uh, is necessary in order that the the family can be strengthened and blessed, united, and made meaningful uh, as we walk through this this third day uh, of um, 2022. I lift this bread as part of the sacrifice Jesus gave uh, literally to his uh, disciples um, before he went to Calvary 
You know, there's a spiritual side to all of this biology that has doctor's appointments, <laughs> glasses, I mean, teeth that, have, that has to be done. And um, um, that, that there is a spirit that, that resides in you right now. So uh, I, I trust that you will let that spirit uh, be nourished by, by him who made the ultimate sacrifice for us. He says, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. It aids and assists you in not tripping up uh, as Judas did um, in selling Jesus out, betrayed him, brought him into his prayer area, paraded those who wanted to kill him in the place where he bowed his knee and talked to his father. Uh, such um, uh, an unsolicited but such a reality of having to deal with someone who doesn't love you quite as much uh, as the father loved you. The father loved us so much that he gave us a part of himself to go through this day with. It's, it, it's a covering during this pandemic of your circulatory system. Uh, so, no, of the respiratory, the respiratory, the respiratory right here with this, 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 this bread because it, it's the covering over your respiratory system that which allows you to inhale and exhale that's where corona attacks. That's where we want covering. And we pray God's covering upon you and yours even now. Be covered today, my brother, my sister. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. But not only that, he says, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. The New Testament in my blood. New Testament in present day vernacular represents the will. W-I-L-L. -L. And the process of going to Calvary and becoming our propitiation our go-between, between God and man, our enabler, our security, and our securer, our relationship maker, that we can live in him and through him because what his dad did for him, for us. So I lift this cup and add it to everywhere we have veins and everywhere we have arteries and add to our own circulatory system. Whatever sickness, whatever disease, whatever is, is contradicting physic, your physicality, I pray now in your veins and in your arteries, the highway system of your physicality from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet and the spirit of it is giving you strength in those weak areas and providing a pathway of communication, of interaction, of being who others need you to be and causing you to maintain a great mental health that your mentality, your, your ability to, to be what others need you to be and for, for you and yours not be threatened by the lack of 
what you bring into life's settings and situations. I pray you have a great third day of 2022 today. And may this day be a salute to the one who woke you up this morning. Starting you on your way and giving you direction for life and living. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Father be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, and the authority to be alive and well and effective today in living. Be blessed on your journey today. God bless. This has been our third day devotion following 31 days of biblical empowerment. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Eastern, right here at the priesthood of prayer. Until our next time, may the love of God be yours. God bless.